Hello everyone, today we have found a mod that lets you put down your inventory slots to as many as you want, including zero. But zero is literally, it is not possible to survive with zero slots, so we're gonna be playing with one and seeing if we can survive a full year this way. This mod was made by a Turian Titan, which you've probably seen. So you may be wondering who we would pick when we have only one inventory slot. And the answer is actually gonna be Wakefred. Oh yes, there is our one slot. <laughs> so we still have our like armor and the hand. We just have one slot. Now technically, it's technically not one slot. Because we have a second slot that's just in our hand. We can we wanted to pick some flowers for some reason. We can combine them and then it's like held in our hand. So, which means you have two slots which allows you to craft stuff like the torch, the ca fire pit, the campfire, the pickaxe and axe, but not the hammer because you need three invent- at least three inventory slots for that and we only have w two, technically one. This also means we can't craft a science machine so we'll just be stuck like without a science machine the whole time. Now, if I picked Wickerbottom, I could have actually made a backpack right off the bat. However, I am just gonna ban the backpack from this run because I think it is ch it's kind it's basically cheating. It's you turn a one slot run into a seven slot run, and at that point, it is just don't starve, but with less slots. It's the same game, but just more annoying because you can't really pick up much stuff. Well, with just this slot here and my hand slot, there's... It is kind of difficult. I can't craft a science machine, I can't make a hammer. I can make a compass if I for some reason wanted to. And then as to why we picked Wigfrid, mostly because she has access to a battle helmet, which is... Which is some good armor considering every other character won't really do you much good. I can't craft a battle spear. So the one I spawn with is the only one I'm gonna have. So for now I will just collect some stuff. Also, I set every season to short, it's all 5 days. And I did this because you're, you're gonna see in the later parts of this run, it's, go it's gonna be me mostly just sitting around doing nothing, waiting for time to pass, so... I, ju I made the I made the year two and a half hours rather than nine hours basically, so I have to do nothing for less time. Now of course this world is generated with twiggy trees, which is very annoying because now I have to getting twigs is a lot harder than it should be. I have 22 grass and only three twigs. Okay, we have found the mosaic biome, which is the biome I was looking for because we first for firstly for gold for helmets, but most importantly. It's for rocks for the fire pit, which is going to be really crucial and for just the light, warmth in winter and just general fire pit good stuff. So while we're here, I will just make drop my stuff. I guess make a temporary base. Actually, we will make a torch and then drop our stuff and try and look for some flint so I can mine some rocks. Because winter is in four days, so we have to do some stuff fast. So the first day passed pretty smoothly actually, we found ourselves some flint and I'll just gather a few up so I can make pickaxes and then I'll return to my temporary base I guess where I dropped all my stuff and then we can craft some pickaxes and then mine all the stuff that we need. Oh, what is this? There's a tall fort nest, that might be useful for some meat actually. I'm not sure where my stuff is. Oh, it's right here. There's even a Qualifant trail. I think I would rather hunt for a Qualifant than go for a Talbird because they are... Talbirds are a little bit dangerous, especially in groups. And with a Qualifant I can relax a lot more easily. So we're not gonna use the Battle Spear for the Qualifant. It's... I think that would be just a waste. Instead, I will use my Axe. And then pre-craft a Fire just so we can use that when we find the Qualifant. Right, we found the Qualifant. My hunger's getting low, so I have to kill this guy quickly. So another good thing about Wigfood is that I don't have to worry about insanity, which is pretty bad when you can't use the Nightmare Fuel, and also she just regains health 
from f oh, from fighting. That's a good reason to have the helmet. You just if you take damage, you'll be fine. Oh, and he's dead. So now that I think about it a bit more, this area around here probably will become my base. I mean, there's a tall bird fort right next to me if I want to meet. There's rocks and uh, wood around, around me, which is all you need in this room. And everything else, you don't need anything else actually. You can't really do much else, so we might just make our campfire right here. Why did it give me that notification? Whatever. It probably means nothing. And this campfire is also how I will survive winter. As long as it's on, and as long as I have resources near it, I can survive pretty easily. And if not, I can just build a second campfire closer to the tall birds. On day 3 we will... Stop giving me that notification now. On day 3, the part where I just kind of sit at base and just wait will begin. I mean, I could chop trees and do stuff like that for more resources, but really nothing interesting is gonna happen for a while. So I guess I will come back when something cool happens I guess. Don't worry guys, we did it. We made a compass. You can tell I have absolutely nothing to do. How does this thing work anyway? Oh, it shows you which way is north. Well that's helpful if I ever somehow forget. Um... Well this is awkward, I was mining rocks and I didn't make it back in time to the campfire. Luckily there's fireflies. And even if there wasn't, I think my helmet would have tanked it anyway, but... Yeah, that did like 10 damage. But, um, we're gonna be... We're gonna have no sanity, so... That's fun. I'm actually running low on twigs, so... While I have the time, in the last day of autumn, I'm gonna go chop down some twiggy trees. Just so I don't run out of twigs in the middle of winter and be... Kinda stuck. So if you ever get a world with twiggy trees, just chop these trees with a bunch of twigs and you'll get two twigs every time. 13 twigs, it's not that much, but my axe is mostly broken, it's almost winter. So I'll just leave it at that, I think it's enough. So now it is officially winter, and I'm probably not gonna move from this spot that often, because otherwise I'm just gonna freeze. I might chop some trees occasionally to get wood, but that's about it. You can see why I set all the sh seasons to short now. Because um, I am literally gonna be standing still for the next 40 minutes. Wait, what? I, I'm freezing? You're telling me I have to move from this spot? Oh my god. How could they do this to me? This is too much effort I'm putting in. Okay, back to robot time. Oh jeez! I'm being attacked, what is this? Can't I just do my robot in peace? I wanted to play the game, not play the game. Okay, he has been defeated. We have now three nightmare fuel that we literally can't use for anything. Oh my god, I got a present, but I can't open it because I can't make a science machine, oh my god. Well, this was a mistake. Back to robot time. Oh my god, I have to put freezing again? Oh, I'm actually running out of wood. I should probably chop trees. Yeah, I should definitely chop trees. I planted this uh, specifically. I planted all these pine cones really close to my base specifically so that I could use it as campfire fuel when I had to. And they're like mostly grown now so I can get some good wood from this. Oh my god, my food source is also run out. Tomorrow we will just go fight some tall birds. That's not the biggest issue really. Oh Jesus, I just spawned a tree guard by accident. Hmm. Luckily, um, they are not tricky to fight, but I don't know if he's gonna destroy my sanity. Well, we killed him, but our sanity's gone. We, we, <laughs> we got living logs and we have nightmare fuel. 
You, lo you love to see it. Two resources I would normally want to play, I literally can't use. Although... That definitely didn't trigger anyone in the comments, no. Okay, so right now, I don't see any qualifying trails. We're, we, we have to go to the tall bird place. We have two options. We can kill the tall birds or we can steal their egg. Wait, where are they all? Okay, I'll just slowly take your eggs one by one. Oh, oh there's a qualifying trail right there. You know what? You can have your stupid egg back. I don't want it. There you go. I'll just I'll just have my qualifying trail. This is fine. Um, I get the feeling they don't like me very much. I'm not sure why though. Well, I lost the qualifying trail. Time to steal your egg again. Oh my god. This is my egg now. Oh, it is my egg. Okay. Oh, hello. Goodbye. <laughs> they just stole their egg and they don't care, you know? Goodbye, friend. None of the tall birds will miss you, clearly. Well, that was a very nice day of work. Let's just add some regular fuel the campfire and go back to roboting. Oh, surprise therapy! I didn't even see him. That one night where I was stuck at the fireflies really killed my sanity. I'm just permanently insane now. Alright, it's morning again. Time to go steal some more eggs. Uh, this one looks pretty unprotected. Thank you very much. I appreciate your free food that you have given me. Look, they don't even come for me, no one's- oh! He's just making sure the package was delivered cor- Hey, who are you? What are you doing? This is my base. Why are you in my base? I never bother you at your base. What- Okay then. No, it didn't have to be like this, but you just decided to attack me for no reason. Hey, we, at least we got some meat, you know? Some good out of a bad situation. Let's go borrow another egg. Hello again, it is me. He's walking into a wall. Well, I have to fight another tall bird. But that's fine, I need health anyway. Oh god, not if I keep losing it though. Wait, the egg is cracking. No, I don't wanna make... I don't wanna give birth. You know, I don't get why he's so angry. If he really wanted his egg, he would just pick it up instead of attacking me. I'm not the problem here, you are. Cook your egg. Very nice. So now it's the last day of winter. I don't know if deer clops will spawn actually, because it's day 10. So if he doesn't spawn, I'm just gonna do myself a favor and spot him myself. Or that could be the worst thing to ever happen, but whatever. And that's when we will put this battle spear to good use. It's our only one, and we might as well use it for at least one thing. Alright, moment of truth. Will the game spawn in Deerclops? Because if it doesn't, then this is gonna be a sucky game, and I will never touch it again. So far, I don't hear him. Hmm. I guess he just doesn't spawn if you set everything to short. Well, if that's the case, I guess the only right thing to do is to spawn him in myself. This can't go horribly at all. And there he is. Okay, let's not let's hopefully not die. And he's defeated. Huh. I somehow expected to die. I think I don't they didn't really hit me that much. Well that's fine by me. 
Let's casually eat this dear club's eyeball. No good 50 health. <laughs> okay. So now it's officially spring. So we can move around again without um, dying. But the important part is we want we need to get into the caves basically because we can't survive on the surface when summer rolls around we will just overheat. But we need to find a semi-decent food source in the caves and also set up a base down there and bring all my junk down there which is gonna be difficult because I can only carry one thing at a time down there and I have to go into the caves, load in, go to the base, drop it and then go all the way back, load out of the caves and uh, just do that for every single item which is going to be a slow process. Wait, what? <laughs> um, why won't the server start? I accidentally left it and it won't let me back in. Okay, wait, why can't I start the server? Did the mod break? I accidentally left the mod updated and now the server won't even work. Um... <laughs> no, I can't get back on the world! No, what? I accidentally left, how does that break? How does that break anything? What is this mod? Wait, maybe re-enable and disable it. Maybe that will do something. Okay, I, I, I don't even know. Um, okay, I hope this doesn't break anything, but I'm gonna try turn off the mod, load the world, and then turn the mod back on. I hope that doesn't break the whole world. We're so close to winning. <laughs> Whoa, we have so much inventory space again. Okay, time to reload the world and hope the mod doesn't break the whole server. Also, I really like uh, this new search feature this added. Really cool, I want to scroll down and just look for a mod and probably miss it. It's just enabled now. Please don't break the game. I can't start the server! Like, <laughs> the mod won't let me play. Okay, you know what? We're gonna play- we're gonna continue the challenge just without the mod. It's gonna be a bit weird, but I'm gonna try not to- I'm not gonna use more than one inventory slot. I don't know how I even broke the mod. I just accidentally left the game. And apparently, that's enough to break Titan's mod. Thank you, Titan. Oh! My twigs, no! And my wood, oh my god! <laughs> no! Do you know how hard it was to gather those twigs? Ah, I better get out of here before something else starts um, getting set on fire. Um, I'm so cold that I'm freezing. This is horrible. <laughs> this is actually terrible. Oh my god. Uh oh. At least we have this forest fire to keep us safe. Wetness makes you cold. Um. Please let that seed No, it's out, oh, okay. There's hounds. Oh, we're dead. I messed up so hard. Oh my god, I blame Twiggy Trees. Well, we're dead. Let's try this again tomorrow. And hope the mod doesn't break by then. <laughs> 